Hey, how's it going out there, everyone? This is WFS, and I want to talk to you today about Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and the dismal numbers that this film is making right now. Disney, Lucas Films, and anyone involved with it is probably crying right now over the fact that they are not doing what they projected they would make. They want to know why. They don't understand how is it that this incredible story that we've produced you should be out there in the streets lines out the doors we should be racking in the money but we're not and this is all on you audience this is all on you we want to know why you are not liking our unlikable story well let's discuss this because i got some information out here from an article i found that it's going to be very interesting you may you may enjoy this now, this article comes from Bounding Into the Comic. James Mangold decries fans as divisive. Okay, we're divisive, people. Do you believe that? For not liking his deconstructing of Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones and a Dial of Destiny. We don't like you because you deconstructed Indiana Jones? We don't like what you did to the character, dude. So let's be honest about this. The Dial of Destiny is not what people wanted. There's so many of you out there who have even said up front, we never asked for this film. Why did you give it to us? Well, because Disney and Lucasfilm ran out of ideas. They don't have any, from the moment Disney got a hold of Lucasfilm, they have just been destroying the legacy of this once great powerhouse of a movie production company. Speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, Mangold was asked by Brian Davis, life is filled with peaks and valleys. And I appreciate when my fine, f fictional heroes, such as Indy, have their own ups and downs. So why does a segment of the audience seem to want these legacy characters to be infallible? I just can't figure out why anyone wants such a little drama. Mangle replied, well, these, the, there's a the point where these characters become symbols, more than characters. So they become this anxiety that if you examine the humanity of a, as a hero, you somehow weaken them. He continued, and honestly, I can't speak of how fans relate with, excuse me, fans relate and wrestle with these questions in relation to other movies, but certainly in relation to mine. I think your question almost has my answer built into it. I mean, think you're in a series, you're in a scene already addressing it. Good drama gives a hero a problem. If a movie is about a beautiful hero who is capable of anything, and is virtually indestructible, and is without any personal issue or concerns, then you just have a fashion video with action. I have, I am a fan of starring a character in one place and going to another, Mangold in, in bold, <clears throat> excuse me, elaborated. Movies are a continuum. By definition, in drama, characters start in one place and end up in another. You know, James, the problem that I and many other people have is not that we are denying the character humanity. Indiana Jones is an amazing character. and We have no problems with the idea of him getting older, but it's how the older Indiana Jones was treated. The lack of respect, the constant beating of his age by an obnoxious, annoying woman, Helen, Phoebe Waller Bridge, it was just too much to bear. And the very end where he gets punched out by her, people just don't like this. We watched Lucas Films and Disney destroy Han Solo, and Harrison Ford was perfectly fine with that. And he seemed to be perfectly fine with the way Indiana Jones was going. But this is a character that deserved much more than what was given to him. Again, we acknowledge the fact that he's older and that time moves on and people's interests change. 
like at the beginning of the movie when he is teaching his archaeology class and no one really gives a care about ancient history and then the next thing we see he's on the train with a little boy in a space suit of course it's the time of space exploration people are looking forward while indiana jones's character looks to the past we understand that and we respect that but it's what was done to this particular man why did he have to get divorced? Why did you have to kill off his son? We can create a story around this character getting older and those other things taking place. And he has to learn to accept the fact that archaeology and historical things are not as important to that generation as they were in the past. But we could still tell this story with a lot more respect and with a lot more dignity given to the character than just a standard Kathleen Kennedy style story where the woman is the intelligent superior leading the man. It is just we are sick of this and you pretty much don't have to worry about it anymore when you consider that Lucas Films has really decimated their library of amazing characters. Mango then accused critics of his deconstruction of being divisive when it was his and Lucas Film's choice to deconstruct Indiana Jones in the first place. And let's be very clear about this. When he says that it's his and Lucas Film's, it's Mango and Kathleen Kennedy deciding that this character needed to be taken down to Pega too. He said, so if people want to, to be divisive in the age of social media, then they can focus on where a character starts as opposed to where they end, or so they can focus on where they end as opposed to where they start. Look, again, we have no problems with what the concept is. The idea of the man getting older and becoming irrelevant we can understand that but it is the way that you just tore this character apart he was a, a industry leader in the world of archaeology he was an incredible man some of the things probably were not known to the public like the ark of the covenant not being 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 found or the cup of christ being found I mean, really, without these things present, I guess it's hard to say, say to people, hey, I found the Ark. Where's your proof? Where is it? I get that. But the bottom line is, to the fans of Indiana Jones, this was just a desecration that should never have happened. In a previous interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he explained how the film would transition from Indiana Jones in his prime to a much older Indiana Jones. It reminds the audience of the contrast between a hero in his physical prime and a hero at his 70s. We're not only relying on social, on so, excuse me, we're not relying solely on the audience memory of the previous films. It reminds everyone what he's done, what he survived, what he's accomplished. No, it doesn't. It tears him down. It disrespects him. This is not the first time that Mangold has lashed out at, excuse me, lashed out and made accusations against Indiana Jones fans expressing their concerns. Mangold infamously threw a temper tantrum when YouTuber Matthew Cadell shared his concerns about Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny back in 2021. Look, bottom line is this. Indiana Jones is a historic character. And he means a lot to me. This is a special character that helped me out with certain issues in my life regarding reading. There was a time in my life during the su one summer when I just didn't want to read. I wasn't a big book reader. So my mom's pretty much told me that you're going to read this summer or I'm taking a lot of stuff away from you. So took me to the bookstore and I found these Indiana Jones books and boom, that's what got me really in starting to read more than I did. Indiana Jones books were just amazing to read. These adventure stories where you flip to a certain point in the book, then you decide what the character is going to do next. Those are the type of stories that got me really involved with reading more than I was. So Indiana Jones is a special character for me. And when we do these type of stories, deconstruct the character, as Mangold says, it bothers me. And I know it bothers a lot of other people. There was a better way 
to retire this character than taking the stuff away from him, devaluing the character, and putting him in, in the path of an obnoxious god daughter who just treated him like garbage. So tell me what all of you think about this. Are we wrong for the deconstruction that Mangold did? I do not believe so. Kathleen Kennedy was on a path to deconstruct Lucasfilms and rebuild it in her image. And it failed. It failed. So tell me your thoughts about this. Drop your comments below. Let me know. And until the next time, my friends, God bless.